What up, hang gang? Good morning, hang gang. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Yesterday, Grace and I went to the OU football game. Now, we're going to storage wars. <laughs> Take some carts. Let's do it. So I'm gonna bid 1,000 on this one right here, 3,082. This is my guy. Honey, how much are we bidding on that? Uh, one dollar. Which one's our guy? In this segment. We're opening our U-Haul. We actually, uh, what's the name of the show? It's not Trailer Wars. Storage Wars. Storage Wars. We purchased this one. We don't know what's in here, so hopefully we got some good loot. A little guy. one, yeah. Really? Yeah. First try. I'm gonna pretend like there's someone coming down the hallway that I'll unlock in five seconds and I perish. Done. Ta -da. Whoa! some good loot let's see what we got we got a football <laughs> that was dumb praise the lord hang gang we got to go put all this into a u-haul and then fun fact i've never driven a u-haul before but i have to drive the u-haul from norman to frisco gracie will drive the other car i know she's happy because she gets a little nervous driving with me <laughs> but you better drive nice we got a keurig oh in that case, oh look, oh. a weed whacker and a blow leaf blower. A weed whacker, which is good because for the house that we're renting, we opted out of the lawn care service. So we're gonna have to do this ourselves. So let's go. I think. This is the last of the stuff in the storage unit. Uh, I can explain. Part of moving right here. I've never done this before at the U-Haul, but uh, most of the stuff is Grace's. We hope that it fits. We don't know. We might have, we almost went with the bigger one, but we'll this see. This should be good, this should be good. Kay. Hopefully. Way to build tension though, I like that. Commence time lapse. Good work, honey. Grace and I, tag team effort there. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. This is for a studio apartment. Although we're moving into a house, this is perfect size. Actually, we have plenty of room. But the house we moved into is a rental. It came furnished, so we don't have any furniture in here, but. My first time ever doing that. Mm. Figured it out. That ain't going nowhere. Ugh. Woo! Praise the Lord, we made it. Hang gang, by the grace of God, we made it safely. Let's see if we can open this U-Haul. Grace, you do the honors. Do you think everything's in there? I hope, Lord willing, everything's in here and made it safe. Okay. Yeah, you want me to do it? You got it. Watch everything be gone. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, let's go. Home remember sweet this? home. From a vlog? Guys, do you remember from the vlog? I'll put a clip now. Wait, let me see a home sweet home bed. Home sweet home. Let's go! We did it! I have no shirt on. Cue the move in montage. called making your moving turn into CrossFit. Hey Grace, no. what do you do work hardly as a servant of the Lord? You did that. We should start a packing company. Hang time, tired of hanging around? No for hang packing. time, no something like. No hanging around in time. In no time. In no time, call no hang time. Hang time. <laughs> Let me put these back and actually get into the video. And my bluebell ice cream is melting, so we gotta hurry this up. Oh my goodness! Let me put these back and actually get into the video. And my bluebell ice cream is melting, so we gotta hurry this up. <laughs>
One scoop. <laughs> so when Grace tells me, okay, honey, only one more bite. <laughs> Next time we're watching something, you say only one more bite. I'm going to grab this food. <laughs> I just had 20 year old dust in my mouth. Use the spoon. Don't be, use the spoon. <laughs> That's sharp. Hang gang, y'all want to hear a pretty fun, fun fact? Gavin, aka Worm, if y'all been subscribed for a while, you'll know who Gavin is. He was a Frisco High raccoon. This is where he went to high school. I just think it's funny and pretty ironic that I'm punting on this field now. Let's go get anabolic. I need some new cleats. By the way, if you're wondering why this is a uh, Sharpie, it's because when I was with the dolphins, it was red right here, and obviously that didn't match the dolphins' colors, but it didn't really turn out that good. The coolest part about these cleats is the Roman Day 28. I need a new pair, though. Before we start this punting session, I want to remind you, hang gang, if you're a punter, please check out my punting course. Link will be down below. Once you click that link, it'll give you information about the course, and I know it'll make you a better punter, so please check it out if you're a punter. Dude. This turf is legit, like, hot enough to burn your skin. It's no wonder that in high school football, at least here in Frisco, they're not allowed to, they're not allowed to practice at this time of the day. Early morning time, or maybe very late evening, but I think for most schools, they do it at like six to 8 a.m. because of the extreme heat. I tell you what, one perk of this heat is it does not take long to warm up, that's for sure. Also, hang gang, it is a little weird punting right now as a free agent because I'm not with the team. And you know, for the past four years of my life, whenever I went out and punted, I knew that I was on a team and had the games in mind and all that. But I'm punting in faith that if it's the Lord's will, I'll get another opportunity. Until that opportunity comes, Lord willing, I better make sure I'm ready and working harder than ever. So that's what I plan on doing, and uh, got to keep that confidence and faith. Let's go. All right, hang gang, it's hotter out here than you can imagine. My cleats are literally burning, like my foot is burning. They might be melting. They legit might be melting on that black a pellet turf field. I had to come over here and this isn't even in the shade. Hopefully there's, I think there's water coming out of this thing. Uh, dude, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. Like the bottom, the bottom of my feet are burning. I don't want to get my cleats soaked, but. It's a scorcher out here, bro. It's black pellets, rubber. It makes sense why they ban football practice at this time, cause legit, it's just like unsafe to practice in full pads and tackle on this field. And yeah, kids would have. Heat stroke and stuff becomes a serious risk, but hitting dingers, surely I can do that by myself right now. So we're gonna get anabolic and hit some more dingers. Bro. Bro, legit. Okay, I gotta come out earlier. I gotta come out earlier. You can't come out at 3 p.m. on a turf field. Thankfully, a cloud has now covered the sun, but I part near and passed out. I forgot a football down there. I debated leaving this football here, and then the cloud went over the sun, so I'll get it. And I remember all the days I had to grind to get to where I'm at now. <sighs> Sorry, hang gang. I'm not trying to be annoying, dramatic, or overreact, but legit, I'm so bad. Oh man, I got some good punts in, but now I know. I gotta go out at like 7 a.m. <sighs> Whether you eat or drink, whatever you do, do it for the glory of God. Thank the Lord.
Doggy. Felt great to finally get a lift and it's actually been a few days since I did with all the traveling. Time to go home and see my wife, but I gotta get her some flowers. Let's go get some flowers, hang game. After being in Florida, I must say I love Publix, but I realize H-E-B, if you haven't been here, it is the undisputed best grocery store in America. Comment down below if you think there's a better grocery store, but as far as I'm concerned, you can't really beat H-E-B, they got everything. Let's go check it out. Everything's bigger in Texas. Barbecue in a grocery store. That's how you know we're in Texas. Which ones? These tortillas are so good. What's up, bro? Yo, what's up, guys? <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Wow. Flowers. The lady at the store told me that these are rarely in, <laughs> and they bloom over time. <laughs> Those open up. All right, young gents, I'm gonna teach you a skill how to put the flowers away in a vase, and ideally you want to do this before your girlfriend, or in my case, my wife, sees, but... She was already home, so I couldn't sneak it into the vase unless I bought a new vase, but we already had one. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this montage. First thing you wanna do is put the flowers in and assess how much you need to cut off. Or like this, watch this, I have another idea. You put it down here and you see how much wants to be Ooh. blooming out and then you cut from the bottom. Ooh, yeah, 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 okay, okay, okay. I had to give that. Huh? Also cutting the stems will allow the flowers to eat the food you give them. So, I didn't know this at first, but usually when you buy a bouquet at the store, it comes with yummy flower food. Think of this as like a treat that the flowers love to eat for us. It'd be like an Oreo or something. Uh, oh, no, it's like anabolic food. To yeah, no, 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 this is anabolic. For them, it's anabolic, but it's sugar. Yeah, it's like some type of yummy substance oh, for them. But uh, do not throw this away. I used to throw these away by accident, not realizing that you put this in the vase and mix it with water. You get rid of this. I used to, yeah. You get rid of this. And tear this off gently so it doesn't wreck the flowers. And uh, sometimes you want to remove extra leaves and stuff, but I think for this case, you could just leave these. But a lot of times, if you buy like roses, you might want to remove the leaves to make the roses pop more. It's so turning so turn into a gardening channel. Uh, so I didn't cut enough. Oh, this is what goes on in men's brains. I still think a little bit more. That should be good. Yep, I like that amount. Then you fill it up with water, not too much, just a reasonable amount, like four Mississippi. Yep, okay. Might be a little much. I kinda wanna eat this flower food. It'll help me grow. So once you put your anabolic sugar food in, you wanna put the flowers in, and kind of shake it up a little. Then, you're pretty much good to go. You find a place that your wife wants it. I'm gonna say, there you go. Bro, bro. Hang gang, it's the next day I was editing this video and all of our electricity and utilities went out because something's happening with the bundle package that we got. And we're hoping that it gets resolved soon, but in the meantime, we're trying to salvage all the new groceries we just got. We're gonna go to actually Mr. Marshall's house, Gavin's dad, they live nearby. And Lord willing, we can salvage this stuff. And we're beginning to sweat, so let's get this on. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know what I've shown so far, I just know I had to vlog this because this is legit like a reality TV show. I went to the store yesterday and got all their stuff because I was finally happy to be here. Bruh, hang gang, we just had to quickly come here and I just stuffed all of our recently bought items into the Marshall's uh, garage fridge. But of course, the day that Grace goes to the grocery store to get a big order, our electricity goes out. So not fun, but thankfully the Marshalls are coming in clutch here. I'm, t I'm updating the vlog. Oh, nice. Hopefully uh, I get permission from the Marshalls to put this on here. But check out Worm as a kid. <laughs> he's, running, he, he's doing the Heisman pose. Hopefully he can still win it. Hey gang, breaking news. Thank the Lord our power is back on and uh, Gracie and I are headed out now. But we've had a great time here at the Marshall's house. So thank you, Mrs. Marshall, for allowing us to stay here. You're very welcome. Let's Anytime. go. And thank you, Otis, for not biting us. Thanks, bud. Say bye to Hang Gang. Good boy. What is he at? Trust the Lord and he provides, both now and in eternity. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you. See you in the next one. Grace, love, peace, and mercy.